keep hearing it over and over. The money is in the list. If you want to make money online, you need an email list. So you buy a domain, get one of those fancy page builders, set up a squeeze page, and wait for the opt-ins to start rolling in. And guess what happens? Nothing. You go back to the people who were telling you that you needed to build a list to try to figure out what you did wrong. Now they are telling you you need to spend even more money to drive traffic to your squeeze page. It's a catch-22. You need to build an email list to make money online, but you need money to build an email list. It's a problem that makes a lot of people new to making money online feel like a hamster on a running wheel. They keep spinning around and around, but they're never actually getting anywhere. What if there was a better way? What if instead of trying to drive traffic to your squeeze page, you can put your squeeze page where the traffic already is for free? You would finally be able to break the cycle and build an email list without needing to have a bunch of money to pay for traffic. You know what? You can. And I'm going to show you how right now. In this video, I want to show you how to put a mini squeeze page anywhere on Facebook with the Timeline Opt-ins software. So to get started, I'm going to log into Timeline Opt-ins and I'm going to click on the button on the upper right hand corner here that says Create New. This is going to bring up a pop-up that's going to allow me to create my settings for the post on Facebook. The first thing it's going to ask me for is a custom graphic. Now if I didn't have a custom graphic, it would actually pull the graphic from YouTube that is related to the video that I'm going to use with this opt-in. But I actually want to use a custom graphic. I'm going to use my blog logo. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Browse and pull that off of my computer and upload it to the software. It's going to ask me for the name of my opt-in. Now this is just for my reference only, just so I can remember what this is for when I'm looking at it inside of the Timeline Opt-ins dashboard. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter main opt-in. It's going to ask me for a caption. Again, this is something that is related to my video. It could be anything I want, but it should be related to the point of the video and the point of this opt-in. So I'm going to call it... It's going to ask me for my YouTube video code. Now this is the code for the video that I want to display above the opt-in form inside of Facebook. So I'll go ahead and paste in my video code that I've already gotten. It's going to ask me for a redirect URL. Now the redirect URL is where do I want to send the people to after they complete the sign up form. So I'm going to send them to my blog so I'll just put that in here. If I want to integrate with any of these three autoresponders, I can do so automatically. Timeline Opt-in supports AWeber, MailChimp, and GetResponse. If I don't have one of those autoresponders, I can also download a CSV of my opt-ins, so that way I can upload it to any other autoresponder I like. Since this is just a demo, I'm not going to enter my autoresponder settings. Next, it's going to ask me for the name and email tag. Now, the name and email tag are the text that shows next to the input field inside of the opt-in. So I'm happy with them just being called name and email. So I'm just going to enter name and then email. If I wanted it to show some other text or perhaps if I spoke a different language, I could actually enter something else in these fields and it would show that. The next thing it's going to ask me for is to select a submit button. So when somebody fills in the sign up form, it, there's going to be a button that they have to click in order to submit the form. This is going to allow me to select the button that I want. And you can see there's actually several options and each option has different text as well. So that way, not only can you pick a color that matches your color scheme, but you can also pick a text that makes sense. So if you're giving away, say, a free PDF or a free gift, you might want to use the download now. If you're giving access to something, you might want to use get instant access or enter now. Uh, if it's just a sign up for a list, you might want to use sign up now. I'm actually going to use the sign up now and the red because that matches my blog color scheme. The final setting is going to be the opt-in delay. The opt-in delay is how long do I want the video to play before the opt-in form shows. Now I actually like having a little bit of a delay so I'm going to set it to 8 seconds. When that is all done the next thing I do is click on create new and my opt-in has been created. 
So the next step is going to be to get my opt-in on Facebook. And to do that, I'm going to click on this share button right here. This is going to take me over to the Facebook share dialog where I can share the post that I've just created. Now I have several options for sharing the post. I can share it on my own timeline, I can share it on a friend's timeline, I can share it in a group, or I can put it on any Facebook fan page that I manage. I'm going to share this on my own timeline and I'm going to make it just for me to see since it is only a demo. If I want to add some additional text to display, I can also put it in this text box right here. I'm going to leave this blank and I'm just going to go ahead and share this for a demonstration. Once I share my post, I'm taken back to timeline opt-ins automatically and we can now go over to Facebook and I'll show you exactly what it looks like in Facebook and how it works. So here we are on Facebook and because I uploaded a large custom graphic, it's actually going to show in a large preview format with the play button in the middle of it. And this is good because it grabs people's attention, it jumps out at them, I mean people are going to be drawn to this and they're going to want to click the play button. So let's go ahead and click the play button and see exactly what happens. So you can see my video actually loads. And this is the video describing what the opt-in is for. And then at the pre-described time, which was actually eight seconds, my opt-in form shows. So after people finish watching the video, they will go ahead and sign up for my opt-in. And I'm just going to put in some test of the stuff here. Once they click sign up, I will have collected the opt-in and they will be redirected to my target URL. So let me go ahead and click the sign up and if this works correctly, we should be redirected over to my personal blog, which is what I entered for the target URL. And there you go, you can see we're actually on the block. Now, I shared this on my own timeline and I actually made it a private share just for me to see because this is just a demonstration. But what re is really great about this particular software is I can now put this on anywhere I want. I can put it in groups, I can put it on fan pages, I can put it all over in Facebook and get it in front of people without having to try to drive traffic to my squeeze page. I'm actually putting my squeeze page where people already are. They're on Facebook. Because I'm putting the opt-in where the people already are, I really don't even need a website. I don't need a squeeze page. I could just use this and put the opt-in on Facebook and collect leads without trying to drive traffic to a site or to a squeeze page. The last thing I want to show you is the stat tracking. If you actually click on this little icon on the left hand side, this will bring up all the strat tracking for this particular post. And you can see that I just made the post, so there is no seven day stats, it's just showing today. And since I viewed it once and I opted in, it's showing one and one for each. But this will actually record your seven day performance. It will show you the number of times your video was viewed and your opt-in was viewed. It will also show you the number of times that people had opted in after watching the video. It's also going to record the total opt-ins and allow you to download a CSV of those people's names and emails if you want to import it into one of the autoresponders that we don't directly support. With timeline opt-ins, you can put your squeeze page on Facebook groups, fan pages, and in your own timeline. By putting your squeeze page right where the traffic already is, you eliminate the need to spend money driving traffic to your site. You can jump off of the hamster wheel and finally build the profitable email list that you always wanted. Click below to get started right now.